Welcome back to Radical and Relevant, where we are exploring the genius and the simplicity of the gospel and learning how to apply the genius and the simplicity of the gospel to our daily lives. Today's gospel is from Mark chapter 6, verses 53 through 56. And when Jesus and his disciples had crossed over, they came to land at Gennesaret and moored on the shore. And when they got out of the boat, immediately the people recognized him and ran about the whole neighborhood and began to bring sick people on their stretchers to any place where they heard Jesus was. And whenever he came in villages, cities or country, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and besought him that he might touch even the fringe of his garment and as many as touched were made well. There's this enormous attraction that people had to Jesus when he was alive. Wherever he went, people crowded around him. They wanted to be with him. They wanted to be close to him. They, they wanted to touch him. They recognized his power. They were attracted to Jesus in very, very powerful ways. And the thing about religion, the thing about our spirituality is very often we can live it in very unattractive ways. And when we're living it authentically, we should take on that attraction that Jesus had when he was alive, when he was walking the earth. Because the reality is there is nothing more attractive than holiness. When somebody actually lives these words that are radical and relevant in every place and every time, when somebody actually lives them, it takes on that same attraction. We see that throughout history with the saints, whether it's Francis of Assisi or Mother Teresa or John Paul II, there's nothing more attractive than holiness. When we actually live the words, phrases, ideas, virtues of the gospel, it's incredibly attractive to people. God has sent us into the world today to bring his power to people, to bring his love to people, and when we live this gospel message, it's incredibly attractive. So go out into the world, have a great day. God bless you. Remember, don't just be yourself. Be the very best version of yourself, all that God created you to be.